It's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for an unbagging of a new-to-me company called Paint Some Way. So let's see what Paint Some Way sent us to check out and get our thoughts on. All right, let's pull the first item out is a diamond painting canvas. Yay, love us our diamond paintings and let's see oh crinkle fest sorry guys all right now that we're past the crinkle fest let's see what is in what's in the bag i know it's supposed to be box but you know i have a bag so that's what i'm saying all right so here we are oh Got our kit under here. We did get a diamond painting canvas kit. And this one I believe is called Misunderstood. You may have seen this before. I know I have seen this floating around the interwebs. Let's peel this back and we'll smooth it out. I kind of want to get a better look at the canvas. This almost looks like it has like a negative photo effect type of finish on it so it might be a little difficult to see let me see if I can kind of angle it a bit so you can get a good look there she is a ghoulish kind of almost zombie-esque young lady here chilling out looks like she might be a puppet perhaps I see some joints here kind of creepy kind of really creepy and I'm seeing little square uh like training wheel situation on this canvas which leads me to wonder do we have us a, a square drill we will find out momentarily but just bear with me here while I straighten out as best I can this like cellophane cover situation this is a thinner cellophane cover so I'm noticing right off the bat here very very thin it's got some some wrinkles in it but the canvas itself seems nice and smooth there we go can we see her a little bit better now with the cover smoothed out there she is and this says it is a 30 by 40 so uh you know what i like to do with new to me companies i like to see are we talking drill field or are we talking about entire canvas 30 oh you guys excitement abounds drill field is 30 by 40 oh yay happy times so they said 30 by 40 and that is the drill field uh you know me i get nervous when i see these bigger borders but it measured out 30 by 40 true drill field yay <laughs> all right already i'm already happy all right so let's take a look at the canvas here and see what the what the what is now we do have two tables and each have their own thumbnails one up here on this side and one down here on this side that's nice and let's see here is what the thumbnail shows let's see what our art is inspired by and should look at like when it's done it's a little harder to see on canvas but the thumbnail makes it clearer pretty creepy i'm digging it now let's look at our table and see what we're working with here it looks like we have random letters and symbols throughout i see light letters on dark colors and dark symbols on light background so that makes me happy this t maybe being the lowercase t being an exception we'll have to look on the canvas and see and we are in dmc order there on the side so the the table is not in any kind of discernible order but that's okay because when we kit up we can put it in whatever order we want and look at the drill field are we clear we are clear look at that not smudgy grainy fuzzy murky at all very nice 
clear, easy to read. I see some color blocking. There's that lowercase t that on the table was concerning, but on canvas seems to be just fine. Yay! All right. And we do have some confetti areas as well mixed in with some color blocking. So this should have some pretty good detail. Okay, well, that seemed like a representative sample of the canvas for us to see clarity, to get an idea of confetti. Um, I do see a large amount of confetti. This looks like it might be like an 80-20 situation, 80% 80 confetti, 20% color blocking, because there's a little bit here and here, but the rest, it looks like a, a pretty confetti-licious situation. Um, that's fine with me. Now this canvas is one of those like kind of mostly fabric. It's pliable and movable, bendable, but it does have a little situation. So it's not 100% fabric, but it does seem to be like more clothy than plasticky. There's a mix of them together to, to create this canvas. It's not real hard and stiff. It is movable, but still does scritchy scratch. And then our kit we have contained in this nice bag. Looks like we have a diamond placing pen with a squishy, a metal tipped single placer, and a multi placer insert in the bottom. So this is a little bit of a deluxe kit. We have some metal tweezers with little sharp pointy ends are we murder tweezers not it's not that pointy so uh but i would still be careful with those we do have if i can hold on to it we do have another multi-placing plastic piece here it looks like it could be an eight placer is there a number on you nope that's an empty circle no number indicator okay just checking and then we have four pads of wax for small ones or two larger rectangle and then we have a boat of life with a nice pour spout love to see that so that is the toolkit that we are given that's more than enough to do this diamond painting and beyond so yay thank you digging that getting some extra you know extra above and beyond the basics and our drills it was i right is a square yes this is a square drill indicated you know my first indicator was the fact that uh, the canvas was in little square blocks almost like training wheels for squares you know just fine any help i can get placing those buggers in the right place is good with me it does look like we have our drills individual baggies each one with the corresponding number on the table and the dmc code which is nice um i'm trying to look and see here is this how many are in here 181 maybe I think that's the quantity in there but um, the whole sleeve itself does have the same serial number as indicated on the canvas up here so if you store your drills separate that uh, is fine you'll be able to identify them that way and um, it does appear though that they're loose in the bag it doesn't look like we're in any kind of order which to me is fine it just it's that really just kind of matters if depending on how you kit up and stuff in my kit up method it's you know not really going to matter to me if they're in new you know numerical or table order if they're jumbled up like this it's no no sweat off my you know what's you know not a big deal it's tightly wrapped in this crinkly plastic bag here but they are all in in different order we'll take a few colors out so we can see the color palette uh, this does seem to have some cooler tones in it. We got some like periwinkle. We've got a, a gray or maybe even a grayish. Uh, we got some you know, purple, lavender, dark lavender type situation. Another beige, a taupe, some more beige. So yeah, I love this color palette actually so much so that I'm going to flip her over so we have 
don't know if I can stop getting caught on cord. This white background, and I'll throw these out here so you can kind of see some of the color families that we're working with here and get an idea of what her color palette is going to be. Now, some of the bags, wow. Okay, so this is like one, they're not all uniform size bags. Like this is smaller than this one. And this one is obviously bigger than, so that's pretty nice. I like, and so I'd rather have this than multiple bags. Uh-oh, fear, fear abounds. You guys, we have some stragglers here. I fear one of our baggies is open. I guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, this is 939, so that is going to be a dark blue, not our evil 410. Um, you know, so yay for that. I'm sure they're, did I say 410? I meant 310. Whatever I said. So then we've got some more dark blues here. And a really pretty rose kind of color. We'll put the cream up here. Pin, 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 pink. <laughs> eh. That's okay. I've been getting a lot of diamond paintings lately that have been sneaking that pink in on me. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Anybody who uh, is unfamiliar, I have an allergy to pink. <laughs> and I'm, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. It is a, a medically determined allergy. Yes, I have EpiPens to prove it. <laughs> no, that's for tick saliva. I'm allergic to ticks, but pink as well. All right, so here we go. We got some more blues and beiges, purple... This is like more of a baby pink. This is a nice lavender and a pinky peach. So here's kind of our color story, you guys, our color family, if you will. This is what our diamond painting is going to be made up of. Let me zoom you in so you can get a better look at those colors, the color palette. Very nice indeed. I don't know, you guys have been on the square kick. I think. <laughs> Am I broken? <laughs> I don't know because uh, you know they take longer and they're kind of more of a pain in the patooski sometimes but I've just really been I don't know enjoying the the square process is anybody else on the square train with me yeah uh if you you'll see in in some in, can't talk you'll see in some videos coming up and uh, in some recent videos in, in the recent past where I've just been on this square kick. I don't know. I, I see. I don't know where these drills are coming from. That's really kind of scaring me. I didn't notice any of the bags being really open. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, I don't want to risk running out. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to pour it. I'm going to pour it. I hear how many. Eh, pouring is hard. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, paint some way. I see you with your true to, true to size drill field and your, your clear drill field. Your little clean looking square drills. I didn't see any obvious masses of trash in there. Uh oh. We have some escapees. Sound the alarms. Get them in the bag. Stop sticking to my finger and get in the bag. Thank you. I might need you. I don't know. And we might, you know, come down to the wire where I need the last two of that gray and, and you two might be it. So stay in the bag. That makes me a little nervous, uh, the fact that I didn't see any open bags, but that is like in the color family. It could have been coming out of a bag. Hopefully we didn't lose any. Um, but yes, here it is, you guys. What do we think of this canvas? Have you guys seen this one out there in the world? Do you have this one? Do you have it in a square? I am excited to work on this one. Um, like I said, been on the square train. I did get one more thing to help us work on our diamond painting. And um, I was, I, I do have another one of these. I'm kind of getting greedy with these. <laughs> and you'll see in a minute what I'm referring to. Let me get rid of the crinkle wrap. 
dun dun dun. Now, I know some of you who have seen some of my other videos may have seen this before, but I'm such a huge fan of this, like, containment system that I am collecting these. I am getting some more. So this is a purple kind of portfolio style with a handle. It has a Velcro shut. When you open it up, it is baseball card style pockets. There are 18 pockets. This is meant, I think, to be like a um, portable kit system where you can take your baggies and just slide them in if you work out of baggies and slide them into the pockets you can use the stickers that it comes with to label uh, you know the the individual pockets if you'd like to do that it does come with baggies if you want to transfer into some different or smaller baggies or you're using a kit that doesn't have baggies and you need baggies here's some for you um but you guys, what I've been doing with these portfolio style kits is I'm not really using them as kits to work out of. I'm using them to store my special drills. I love using glow in the dark, AB, pixie, metallic, um, the, what are they called? Like electro or whatever, all the kinds of drills. I like enhancing my diamond paintings sometimes. And so I was looking for a new way to store my enhancement drills separate from my spare drills of normal variety. And this has been working out phenomenally for me. So when I saw that Paint Some Way offered th these portfolios, I wanted to show them to you um, as a kidding up option or a special drill storage option. Now, I don't have a lot of surface space or shelving space, but I do have like bookshelves and stuff. And what I've been doing is putting my special drills in here and then, you know, velcroing it vel velcroing it up and then I'll put it like on my bookshelf and stack them either this way you know long on top of each other or as books go boop 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 like that and and be able to pull them out there are multiple colors it's not just purple and so what I'm thinking is like I'm gonna keep my glow in the dark you know my glow in the dark drills in the purples and then get a different color for my AB drills or maybe these will be my round specials and then I'll do a different color for square specials and if I need to I know I have an extra situation here if I find myself in need of an 18 pocket kit or if I've bought multiple of these which I do have now a couple of these um you know, I can pull these and they're portable, easy to store, easy to pull, put away and pull out. So you can do, if you get a couple of them, you can do bigger size kits with more, with more colors, or you can use these for smaller kits with lesser colors. But yeah, you guys, for me, this is my special drill storage, but you could totally use this to kit up. This is 30. You could get two of these and use them to kit this girl up and have, you know, some nice portability, you know, take, grab your canvas, grab, you know, your two portfolios of, of kit drills and you know, migrate to the couch, migrate back wherever it is you want. Hey, I want to go to bed and diamond paint. This has handles. You can go with you. So yeah, this is what we got. Thank you so much for sending these to me. Paint some way. I am really excited about this canvas. Misunderstood. True drill field 30 by 40 square drills. My new obsession for some reason. I don't, I don't know what it is, uh, but, but I am obsessed. So, uh, very excited to do this. Tell me in the comments down below, have you shopped at paint some way? Do you have this diamond painting? Do you have one of these portfolios? Have I convinced you of the usefulness of these? Um, I'm really, I have been using these and loving them. Uh, do you use it for storage or do you use it for kits? I'm curious. And is anybody else on the square train with me? Let me know all the things in the comments below. And as always, everything will be linked in the description down below. And with that, that's all I've got for this unbagging. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Stay naughty.